moving into the apartment because already my spirit has been, you know, disturbed. So I had to stay longer in in the furnished apartment I was paying while house hunting. So I now had to get um, another better place where there wasn't any discrimination whatsoever. Everybody's minding their business. The landlord doesn't even have business with hey beautiful people welcome back to another video if you are new here hi my name is lillian and i am a nigerian background story but you guys this is my beautiful sister my fellow nigerian said that she is confused and she need answers so because of course i like her because of her fearlessness and for the fact that she loves nigeria a lot and i could see that and for the fact that she fears nobody and for the fact that she's also like me she ran away from home not for greener pastures but because she's exhausted i want to respond to her because she made this video here saying that she's confused she do not know why other african countries or globally house owners are refusing to rent their houses to nigerians especially in ghana so i felt like okay i'm going to reply her because of course if i have been replying people were not even get sense how much more she but i'm very surprised that this my sister is unaware of why people are not renting to nigerians especially according to her in ghana so but then i'm going to play her own video and i will be back if you're a hater don't go nowhere you need to see the end because <laughs> as always i am going to share my experience in ghana and maybe you will love me for that or maybe hate me some more keep on watching <laughs> beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your girl elachilaka <laughs> the nigerian passport I, I don't know i think is is the most disrespected and the most uh, devalued passports all over the world right now you know like and that has made so many people to opt for the options of getting other country citizenship like getting passports of other countries maybe ghana benin kenya you know gambia all over the African countries, people would rather, you know, go go to any length to get these passports to use than the green passports. And then it's so heartbreaking because if you get to the airport, if you even try to sign up for some things or verify some things on the internet and you plant and you upload the Nigerian passport, a lot of restrictions, you know, and it's really hurtful. If you go to Ghana, like, if you go to places like Ghana, if you come to Benin Republic here, they hardly rent apartments to Nigerians. Especially in Ghana, you're going to have to maybe, if you have, um, if you have a, a Ghanaian who is your friend or partner or colleague or something, you can, you know, put the person in front or go with the person to be able to rent an apartment um, owned by a Ghanaian. This has been on for so many years. It didn't start today. Some, Niger some Ghanaian landlords, they would rather leave their apartment empty than rent it to a Nigerian. Even if you have all the money in the world, even if you want to pay for three years, it's a very difficult thing, you know. So sometimes what they do is they, they use other um, citizens to flaunt like it's theirs and they'll just, you know, go like the, the ones that want to take the apartment, you know. So I want to know why it is so. I remember... The first half, there, there was this house I wanted to rent here. The landlord, he didn't know me, he didn't meet me, but when the agent told him it was a Nigerian, he said, no, 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 you know, he said, no, 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 that he was not, um, he wasn't going to rent the house to a Nigerian. I felt bad, yes, but I wouldn't still continue um, moving into the apartment because already my spirit had been, you know, disturbed. So First, I want to say that I'm very surprised that this is my beautiful, fearless, Nigerian is unaware of the reason why house owners are not renting to Nigerians. I am surprised what we learn daily. Before, I was as surprised as she is. So maybe I have learned my own from my own experience. So I'm no longer surprised. I'm going to use my experience to help her get understanding of that. Because I am, first off, I'm very surprised that even in Benin Republic, when I say even, it's because, you know, you think, okay, Ghanaians and Nigerians are always dragging each other. They have history of all the nyama nyama 
they have done to their selves in the past so maybe it's still in their hearts but what about Bini? because of course i have not read any history that has anything to do with Bini and nigeria hating on each other or disagreeing with each other so why 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 i am super surprised but it's okay when it concerns my country people there is no surprise inside apart from the fact that i am a content creator and i like to keep it as it is i like to speak the truth and i like to share my knowledge so my sister is surprised and i want to tell you that i'm surprised now the reason i'm saying i'm surprised is because you you know our people you know how we did behave so why you can't surprise you say people no agree give their house because this is you that i'm watching on youtube here i don't think you want to give your house to a nigerian especially if you're not a nigerian or even as you are a nigerian god bless you today which i'm praying that god do bless you because why not my sister if you build your house for for that bini or anywhere the sun shines on your finance you decide to build a house or buy a house my sister will you rent it to nigerians to be honest no on a serious note well the answer is if it's me i will not except of course with terms and condition and i will disclose them later in this video a lot of people when they want to rent it's not even where your mind is going i'll read my terms and condition later in the video so first let me continue to answer her she's very confused about that and i am very confused that she is confused about that the same people that you know when i first came to ghana i never knew that all these things exist though i've been reading online i've been reading in blogs how ghanaian landlords are not renting to nigerians i've been seeing videos on youtube how italian landlords are not renting in, even to buy a house in Italy as a Nigerian is hard. I've seen videos from around the world, people complaining, talking about it, condemning, complaining, consoling themselves about rejection globally, which we all know is due to a few bad eggs. But in Ghana, I never knew it until it was time for me to rent. I thought maybe when I have money like this, I'll rent a house. I was surprised because I thought by the time I have money, it would be easy for me to get a house. I was already dreaming of my own space, how I'm going to sit down in my own apartment in Ghana and do my YouTube videos, how I will go out and come back, just do whatever I want. I had these dreams until God gave me money and the opportunity to rent in Ghana. Then I realized that it is real. I remember crying and at some point, because in Ghana, not every Ghanaian is angel. Some Ghanaians like to take advantage of Nigerians. And the painful thing is they do this to innocent Nigerians. So the agent that I got first that helped me, you know, with this house thing, I got him online from Gigi Ghana. So when I got him, I talked to him, he agreed. He was the only one that agreed to see me first of all. The rest turned me down because I'm a Nigerian. But he agreed to see me. When I finally went all the way from wherever I was to Amaria, far, far away, close to the Ibri, very close to the Ibri mountain, far, far, far away from the comfort of where I was putting up. I was putting up somewhere in Osu. I had to travel from Osu to Amaria after Madina, right? So when this guy saw me and I paid him 80 cities and they showed me around, there's one he said, oh, that one, there's no need to show me. You know, he, he said he has three available houses around my budget and that one of them do not accept Nigerians. So it was okay with me. So I told him to show me the one that accepts Nigerians because I can't shout. I was so confident that when the landlord sees me, he will accept me. So I now saw two of the houses. I didn't like one and I loved, but I loved one so much. It was just a perfect dream place for me to live in with my kids. So I wanted it so bad and I was ready to pay. 
so quickly i told him the following day i was coming to make payments so the following day when i wanted to go make payments something came to my head and i said let me talk to a senior friend of mine that is from ghana that have lived in nigeria before so i told him about my plans and how I have seen a house. And he was like, okay, I should send the agent number to him. Already this agent man agreed that I should bring the money. So on my way to give him money, I decided to call this senior friend of mine from Ghana. And I think he called the agent telling the agent that he knows me very well. I hope, you know, I don't know what he said to the agent. So the, this agent started to decline my course all right so when i wanted to know i just needed closure i just needed to know why all of a sudden you're avoiding my call and you know i'm on my way coming to you with money as much as that amount me moving around with it i felt unsafe even though i've not heard stories of you know cases like that but because past trauma you know where i'm coming from past trauma so i was worried moving around with such amount of money on me so when i finally made him because i sent messages both on whatsapp and text and sms's and all that and calls he finally replied me that that particular house that i like that i'm coming to pay the landlord said he cannot give to a nigerian i was like okay but you told me that won't accept nigerians so what happened he said i didn't hear him well i let him get away with it because of course why not i told him to please refund the agency fees to me because i know he's lying in his usual Ghanaian manners because he knows that if i take this matter from here to the police or i make it public he doesn't even know i have a channel in public he doesn't know i could speak in public like i'm doing but because i told him that we could get the police involved to help us if he do not refund my agency um fees that i paid him because i felt like he was just exploiting me you know very well that the house or the houses you're taking me to do not accept nigerians so why did you take me there good enough he refunded my monies you could guess what he wanted to do with that money if i finish paying maybe he will get someone to collect that money and act like a landlord and then later i would have you know maybe that would be like me being scammed and before i get that money back it's going to be a struggle but thank god for that so that is when it started to that was when it became clear to me that okay so there could be a house in ghana and you as a nigerian would like it but you will be denied of that house just because you are a nigerian i was so confident the funny part is i was so confident that any landlord i see will accept me i'm going to convince them to accept me so i went on to look for another agent or agents in this case agents upon agents so each of everyone each and every of the agents that i see and meet that agrees to meet me they tell me the same thing when i go the houses they will tell me okay eh, the landlord maybe some of them will put a phone call through to the landlord to call them and ask if you accept a responsible nigerian they will turn it down right there in my face i was exhausted I even made a video crying and talking about that issue until I ended up where I ended up because I had no choice. That became the only place I could find a Nigerian woman who helped me rent because she was so straight. She was very honest with the whole thing. She would call the landlords before she agreed for us to meet she calls the landlord send the voice notes and get voice notes response from them and send it back to me everywhere i go i was facing rejection until of course i finally got a place then i realized that ah, what is happening first when i got a place i thought maybe they were overreacting then when i decided to move from that space to another one because the house rents were being increased every day and this is i think this is why it was easy for them to accept a nigerian or anybody because of course they know you are going to run away by yourself because every few months they will increase their rents so when I, while i was living there i didn't know why they don't accept nigerians because i didn't see many nigerians they do i saw some and the very first week that my fellow nigerian moved into that estate the first week guess what i was waiting for the school bus to come pick my kids there was uber driver outside waiting for waiting for his passengers to come out from the estate and make payment for the order that they have made and this woman never came out so it took the intervention of the security men at the gate to help the uber man got his money 
I said, okay, this my people don't come. Not like this. This only this place when they agree give us house. Not like this. This sister won't take start. Anyways, the estate, that estate didn't complain about her attitude. They just allowed her. After all, they knew maybe they knew she's going to run away by herself because that place, they re they rents in that place every two two months. They could wake up and increase. So there was nothing fantastic. So I guess they knew that even if they don't ask her to go, she's going to go anyway some days. So after that place, after living there for some time, I decided to move because this house is going to become too much for me in future with the way they are going. So when I decided to move, that was when I saw it all. That was the time I saw it all. I saw discrimination in real colors. I remember begging and pleading and crying, using my kids as an avenue to get sympathy, to enable me rent, to allow me stay, to allow me get a place. Time was running out. I was running out of time in my former apartment and I can't seem to find another. Finally, when I found one, effortlessly, this man gave me this place to stay. I told him I'm a Nigerian. He said it doesn't matter that he has done business with Nigeria. Nigerians are human too. <laughs> Even though he's family and his neighbors have warned him to not rent to our people he did anyways because of course why not we are human too i even sang praise of him i talked about how he gave me a place without stress but my brothers and my sisters come to this place this time there is a there's vacancy i dare you to come as a nigerian that you want to rent here this man will not rent to you he said he's not giving to anybody from the giant republic anymore. This is someone that used to give. So that tells you something. Ghanaians were not born this way. That tells you that majority of the house owners, I keep saying owners, majority of the house owners were not born this way. They were not just, it's not like something they just got up today and said, okay, we are not renting to Nigerians. It took me time to understand and I'm glad I'm sharing this with you, my sister. It took me a long time to understand. But finally, I understand and I'm glad to share this with you. Me, if God bless me today in this Ghana, before I will rent to you as a Nigerian, I'm sorry, I have got to know you in the past i know that you will not stress me otherwise i'm sorry i can't take the risk no matter how we try to sugarcoat things because uh, you have to cover your people no some of us can't cover our people that are not coverable okay we can't because it's not that simple it's beyond whatever you see on social media my sister it's beyond people coming to play the victim card do you understand take this to be for the views for those who will come and say you're selling your people sell out sell out fire the people that are selling us out wrongly are the people who can't behave themselves i don't want to go into details of course but it's not that simple come here and tell this man Come here today and tell this same man that you want to rent this same house. He will tell you he can't. Even if you are paying 100 years, he will not rent to Nigerians. And there's something she said in the video. Let me play that. I'll be back. But I have had to get um, another better place where there wasn't any discrimination whatsoever. Everybody's minding their business. The landlord doesn't even have business with tenants. His own is to get his money for his rent and everybody's cool. So um, I, I don't know why this is a thing, but if you have an idea, if there is a particular reason, apart from say, okay, Ghana, Nigeria, whatever happened back in the years or back in the centuries, which, we, which happened even before most of us were born. Apart from that, are there other reasons behind this this, this mistrust for Nigerians when it comes to renting apartments by um, some landlords, especially in Ghana or Benin Republic or even other African countries. Do, do you have any idea why? Is it that they don't manage people's properties well or is it that they cause problems in the compound or is it that, are, are there reasons, I'm curious, are there particular reasons why um, these people don't rent their apartments to Nigerians all over the world. Hmm. You said the landlord don't even live with you. You don't live with the tenants and all that. Here, yeah, you don't have, you see when it comes to our people, you don't have to live with the, the landlord don't have to be there for him to collect wutu from our people hand. There are so many things I wish to say, but I can't. You understand? I cannot say them, but the truth is, 
And you as a Nigerian, if you try to talk to your fellow Nigerian, they will tell you you are judgmental. The moment you don't do the things they do, they will tag you judgmental. So it's going to be like that for maybe a very long time. But it's unfortunate that this is also happening in Benin Republic. And I want to, to encourage you to continue to be a good ambassador for the sake of our future, for the sake of our children, so that when a man, so that your landlord can testify about the goodness of Nigerians, just like mine is testifying about my goodness. And I'm so glad that this man doesn't, like, the, the sins of others is not rubbing on me here the other day i called because one of my taxis uh, driver just traveled abroad so i have another one that i called i called him to come take me let me go get gas and when he came the house opposite mine by the time i go outside because he called on the phone that he was outside by the time i'll go outside to meet, to meet him there i saw him at my neighbor's house because it's an open place i saw them he was even eating their food i was like okay it means they are very really close and when he came back into the car, he was now telling me what they were saying about me. I felt like crying. They said, this one no get problem. You can't even see her. You don't even know anything about her. She just come out. If she's, maybe she greets you if there's need. If you're very close to her. If you're far from her, she will just ignore you. She doesn't have any problem. I felt like crying. This man was proud of me. Do you understand? So when you as a Nigerian do well, you are not doing for yourself alone now now i'm praying we get more people that will behave themselves when you talk they'll say you are being judgmental you are too judgmental by the time you don't follow them to do the things that brings damage to the image of the country they will tell you you are judgmental i don't even advise them they are the one who do all sort of things i can't even talk about in this video all sort of vice ranking from fighting shouting smoking and not paying the bills see they eat plenty plenty i can't talk but God will protect me and he will always protect my children because of course some people will see this video but there's nothing anyone will do to me God in heaven will protect me any day anybody tries to hurt me that hurt you mistakenly hurt your own or hurt my children God will turn it against you you just mistakenly find yourself feeding your kids with evil so seriously this is why we are they are not renting to us it's a lot i wish i can explain i cannot how many times has the police come here maybe someone picks a prostitute and refuse to pay and then there will be fights everywhere the police will come tear gas see it's, it's beyond see it's a lot but i can't say it i'm also suffering right so that is the and then there's something again my sister said in the video that say, she says except you get someone to rent for you my sister in ghana now that used to be but not anymore if you get someone to rent a house for you in ghana as a nigeria the day your landlord or landlady or the house owner will just discover that you are lying to them you're a nigerian you lied you fooled them to get the house they'll refund you your money and ask you to go that is how bad it is that is how bad it is so it is you shouldn't be surprised you know our people now you shouldn't be surprised if you talk they'll say you are being judgmental you are being then why don't you do the right thing this <laughs> life is not this hard but it's hard so that is that so that is why they are not renting to nigerians my dear sister okay they are not renting and this is going to keep going if this particular man that rented here for me is now speaking another tune. I said there is vacancy right now. People have been coming and he said, you know, they do. You know, do again. He just want, he just, he's, he wants his peace of mind. He wants his peace of mind because there's so much that no one can speak. Do you understand? Yet we are the best in the world. Toxic as we are, oppressing others. I did this video, they come and say, eh, what can, they? there's nothing a Nigerian can do to me. Nothing. Nothing. It's a lot. It's a lot. I am exhausted, my sister. So that is that. I hope that this video answered you. I know you are missing home just like me. Mm -hmm. I'm missing home. -o. I wish I can just go home randomly. Right now, I feel like going home sometimes just because I grew up in my village and I always miss home. But I can't always go like that. It's not because I'm going to be the target because it's not that safe. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.